Should you risk buying used sim racing gear? Here are some of my takeaways from my personal experience buying almost exclusively secondhand stuff over the past five years. Everything I've ever bought used when it comes to this particular hobby is through eBay. Why? Because you are offered terrific buy protection on eBay. If you get scammed, you are guaranteed pretty much to get your money back. And I know this all too well as a seller because I've had buyers make false claims that my sold items weren't as described and had eBay on my case for weeks until it was resolved. If you're buying from eBay, you do not need to worry but you do need to be a little bit smart about it. For instance, there are some important checks to make. Does the seller have positive feedback and a high percentage rating? I usually aim for 99.5% or higher, but there are some exceptions because you need to look at some other things to make your mind up. You need to check the listing itself. Is it using real images or product renders? If it's the latter, I'd be cautious as these images aren't of the real item that you will be getting. Real photos are definitely a must for me. The description is also important. Does it have plenty of info about the item itself or is it just a copy and paste job from the manufacturer's website about the product? I want to know about the item that I'm getting. Are there any marks on it? Does it work as it should? Stuff like that. And feel free to ask these people questions because you can communicate through eBay themselves. And be reasonable. Is the price too good to be true? Are you really getting an Acetec Invicta for $500? No, and you need to be mindful of that. Whilst you can save a good chunk of money over buying new, you aren't going to get something for half off in 99.5% of cases. The stuff I bought from eBay has been fantastic because I've been thorough and I've made sure I'm getting what I want. My F Pro wheel was actually incorrectly titled a Formula Pro, the predecessor to it. So I got a couple of hundred quid off, but I knew that in those images, it was an F Pro. The guy just clearly didn't know what he had. And it also came with a SimuCube wheel side quick release, which is really handy because I have a SimuCube and that wasn't listed anywhere. It wasn't even in the photos, but I managed to get it. So, you know, sometimes you luck out. On other products, I've saved a little bit less, but I've still come away with a really good experience. I've been buying from eBay for over 10 years now and bought hundreds of items with maybe one or two duds that I've got my money back on absolutely fine. All my camera gear is used too. You just need to be a little bit more vigilant than using a brand new site. And you don't usually get warranties on these things, which might be a big turn off for some, and I, I totally get it. It's sometimes just worth the peace of mind that you can go back to the seller and contact them if things go wrong and get your money back or a replacement without much fuss. And you don't really get that with eBay past, say, the 30-day point. One aspect I think people don't really realize is actually really useful about buying things used is that in places where certain products aren't available or cost an absolute fortune to import, it's actually really handy to buy secondhand as you know it's one, already in your country, and two, will take little time to post with no customs or import fees to account for. That's actually how I bought my Fanatec TD2 back in the day. Uh, they couldn't be bought in the UK natively, so I just bought one off a reseller that offered a really decent price and I ended up getting it next day with no dramas, no import fees or anything. Should you buy used sim racing hardware? Yeah, I think you should consider it if you do want to save some money, but stay vigilant, check thoroughly, and don't be a helmet.